good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so lately i've been seeing these social media influencers start pandering to women and for the life of me it doesn't make sense now i, I want to make this disclaimer before i even get into this topic i love women you feel me i was primarily raised by a a woman you know um my father was in my life and shout out to my dad but i primarily stayed with my mom and i understand that when it comes to being a man or what they tell you what how a man should be you know you want to be the breadwinner you want to be the person that takes care of home and you know what i'm okay with that you know, especially if that's someone that I know that has my back, that has my best interests when I'm, you know, having a great time, a great day and things are going great. She's there with me when things are going bad and it's it's real rough and it's I may be going through a dark period in my time in my life. She's with me like there's nothing wrong with taking care and helping a woman, you know, in that in that respect, you know, being the, the breadwinner. I'm OK with that. But. What I'm not okay with is giving up my money and pretty much simping to someone that honestly doesn't really care about me and is only there for my funds. And I've been seeing a lot of social media influencers, or not a lot, but there's some, the big ones that have a bigger following, just pander for no other reason other than they know they're going to get a lot of women to like and, you know subscribe to whatever they're selling you feel me and women start believing the stuff that they're selling and one of the biggest people out right now he's one of them at least that's just really big on pandering to women right now he goes by pastor poppy don on instagram he's one of the bigger uh pandering social media influencers and there's a couple clips on here uh that i think we should definitely check out so you guys can see that this is literally promoting simping at its highest level and it's not what's up so let's check out some of these clips man and uh see what pastor poppy dunn has to say man my sherry more. good morning you see how much you make a big deal out of money how much you should spend how much you don't want to spend on women how much they don't deserve now you get to see why women use money as a love token and something to show that you really like her because that's all you motherfuckers talk about. That's all that's in your music. That's all you post about. You even talk about how much you don't want to spend on her. So obviously when you spend some money, she takes it as you really like her since you don't want to spend no money. Fucking dickhead. My Sherry. I don't agree with that. I don't. Um, Me spending money on you shouldn't really validate how much I quote unquote love you. Because um, you can sit up there and be like, oh, okay. Um, I want to get you this, this nice car or whatever, get her that nice car and still treat her like trash or cheat on her or, you know, don't really show her no affection or attention. Like, yeah, she got a nice car now that she didn't have to pay for, but at the end of the day, do you really love her? Do you really care for her? Is it just like a, a trophy wife to keep happy or a trophy girlfriend to keep happy? So, no, I, I, I have to disagree with that one. Good morning. So let me get this straight. These men want you to do your hair, your nails, get your eyelashes done, buy an outfit, all just to go on dates with them. They want to get to know you. So they want you to invest in yourself, to invest in time with them for free. Maybe after two, three months, he might decide if you're worthy to spend money on. And these men seem to think that their husbands are the future. <laughs> Love and happiness. All right. Okay. Um, let's break this down. Uh, if I'm trying to get to know someone, right? You know, that's that's kind of one of those type of things where it's like she should already, you know, be dressed up and looking nice and presentable if we're gonna go out on a date because i'm 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 pretty sure she would want the same from me i'm not gonna be asking no chick or expecting a chick to pay me money to get my hair cut to make sure my fit is fresh make sure i'm smelling good have on the right cologne you know what i'm saying like like no like that's to me it's like 
kind of just like a uh, a universal thing. If you meet someone, you end up taking them out on a date or whatnot. I mean, technically, you kind of are like spending money on you don't even have to wait two, three months. Like you're technically spending money on that person because, you know, it's custom tradition for guys to pay for the date, which I'm OK with. I'm I'm OK with that. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to take someone out on a date, you know, be willing to pay for it, which is fine. Or, or a young woman out on a date, be willing to pay for it. That's fine. But this whole notion of, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? I think, you know, he should be paying for my hair and all this other stuff if I'm going to be dolled up to look good for him on a date. That doesn't even guarantee that there'll be a date two or three. Like, it may just be one date and y'all just may not be compatible. Then what? Now, you you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that either. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Not the not same men that say that I'm not buying her a gift unless she's my wife. I'm not doing for her unless I know she's with me for me. Are the same motherfuckers that when they do buy you gifts, they take them shits back in two seconds as soon as y'all break up. As soon as y'all break up, it's you use them. Oh, you ungrateful. Then you start breaking things. It's like, yeah, go ahead. Get one of them insecure niggas that's talking about all this spiritual shit. I need to make sure she's right first. You also going to be Mr. Right, take your shit. Them niggas be stealing bags too. The same men that say that I'm not buying <sighs> I don't believe in Indian giving. If you do give someone a gift and then y'all break up and then to take the gift back, I I don't believe in that. Like that's that's dead. That's the only thing I'll give him credit for. But everything else he was talking about is like, what's wrong with waiting on someone that you feel is right for you? Women do the same. So why we can't just be like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't about to drop <laughs> a few bands on someone and I don't really know them like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I gotta really vibe with you to even invest my time so let alone throwing money at you like i don't i don't know man i don't know this that's <sighs> this is this is what this is what social media is in 2021 this is what i guess being like someone knowledgeable this is a knowledgeable person i guess in this field of letting women know that hey you deserve a guy that's going to be willing to throw that money on you. Not me, man. Not me. Like, I, I don't have a problem, you know what I'm saying, showing a person a good time. But at the same time, I got to make sure that the person I'm investing into is also is invested in me, but not for the wrong reason. Not because of what I can give them or what, what I have. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the real key right there. But I don't see any messages on this page promoting that. I just see a lot of She don't want to hear you get money stories. She doesn't want to hear about what clubs you've been to, where you traveled. She's looking you dead in your fucking eyes, at your neck and your wrist, and she's wondering why she ain't got one zell from you, but you over here telling her about all this get money shit. You wore your jewelry picked up in your nice car, and she's still trying to figure out why you ain't send no fucking money, but all you keep talking about is money. Shut the fuck up about what you do and do it. Send that girl some money right now, stupid. She don't want to hear you get money stories. Why? Why is this a thing? Just someone tell me. Why is this a thing, bro? Seriously, someone tell me why is this a thing? Like, what? what is this? Seriously. This is what we're promoting now. Because a guy has a nice watch, nice change. He's talking about his money ventures. And you're supposed to be sending her money because you have money. If if that's what a woman wants from you, she got to go. Got to cut her loose. You know, it's different if I'm bragging in front of you like, oh, I'm this rich, I'm this rich, I'm this rich. That's different. But if I'm just talking about the funds I've acquired or, you know, saying you just see the nice stuff that's on me. I don't even have to flash it. You just see it. And you expect just off the strength because I have it. You got to have it. All right. Next one. Next next cringe post. See what other cringe stuff you got on here. Newsflash. Women miss their sugar daddy in a trick more than they miss you little fucking fake ass boyfriends. 
the fuck she gonna miss a nigga for that makes her go half on bills? Why she gonna miss a nigga that never bought her no random gifts? All those times that you thought she was sad or something, she's thinking about her ex who actually takes care of her. But you fucking broke ass niggas really think a woman misses you. It's only because you annoying and won't stop texting her. She takes your broke ass back. <laughs> New Bro. <laughs> I just, it's so much cringe. This whole cringe, bro. Just mega cringe, bro. Like, what? No. No, bro. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep this a stack and a half with you, man, bro. No. No. Now, the going half on bills thing, I can see how some people feel some type of way. But I've I've always felt that when it comes to bill situations, that depends on y'all financial situation. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem with a woman putting in on the bills. If we're living together, there's nothing wrong with that. And if anyone t tries to tell me differently, I'm going to look at them like, well, I guess you're not the person for me or whatever. Because, you know, I've always felt it's a teamwork, especially if you're living together. Y'all y'all work on who paying what. You know what I'm saying? All right, I pay the rent. You get some of the utilities or you get the utilities or, you know, we, we figure it out. It depends on y'all situation. But to just sit up there and be like, well, I'm paying for everything. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want to do for that person, fine. I'm not going to judge you for it. That's your living situation. But for it to be like a law, a rule, or something demanded, nah, that's when you have to miss me on that one, man. There's two things a woman want to hear. Her cash app and Zelle, and what's her full name and birthday? Book her a trip. If you really want her, do something different. Stop asking her to the movies or the dinner. She can drive there herself. Do something no one else is asking her for. Take her on fucking vacation, you cheap, broke bastards. Otherwise, leave her alone. Let a rich demon come and get her. Oh, man, she need to be... Nobody want to hear about your spiritual future, motherfucker. She want to be on a plane getting back shots on a balcony. There's two things a woman want to hear. Her cash app and Zell, and what's her... I don't, bro. What? If you're not my girlfriend, someone I've invested time into, my wife, that that's the only way I would just be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Book a trip, plan a flight, something like that. Do something spontaneous. But if I don't know you, we just in like some dating phase or getting to know each other phase. What the hell do I look like just randomly, randomly taking you on a trip? I don't even know you. And this is the type of stuff that I see on social media and women eat it up. Not realizing it's pandering, bro. I'm willing to bet. This guy don't really believe half the stuff he's saying. I'm going to just keep it a stack with you. I'm willing to bet he don't believe half the stuff that he's saying right now. You want to know why? Because at the end of the day, bro, like, no one's just out here. The regular 9 to 5 working man is not out here meeting a, a new woman and then just be like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Let's go on a trip. Let's go on a trip to Cancun. I got you. What's your cash app? Need your hair done? Need your nails done? I got you. I'm going to just throw this money at you. No, bro. No. No. It's not even a guarantee she going to even rock with you like that. Like, no. Just no, bro. Us man, we got to have self-respect. There's nothing wrong with treating women with self-respect, with, with respect as well. You know, there's nothing wrong with showing women a good time. But you got to make sure that person you showing a good time to is worthy of your time. That's what we need to start promoting. What's good, what's good for the men as well? There's nothing wrong with treating women great. There's nothing wrong with showing a woman a great time. But you also got to make sure that your time matters too. So you having a good time is just as important as she having a good time. You feel me? So I don't know, man. This this His whole page 
is mega cringe. And I saw a post, his one of his more recent posts. We got to check this one out so you can kind of understand, you know, where I'm coming from here. I, I, we just got to check this post out. You know, there's an agenda on social media that I don't know what it is, but having my page deleted and you give it back. But I keep getting banned and reported and Instagram's not even checking the content, nor is anybody at Facebook. And I just want to say I'm not even going to post on this page anymore until I can get a meeting at Instagram to discuss why a man who's changing his life to come out the streets wants to be a pastor to preach to women keeps getting flagged and the content keeps getting taken down. Until then, I, I don't want to do it. <laughs> and i'm not trying to laugh at someone getting a page taken and stuff like that taken down and stuff i've been dealing with my own personal hacking situation from this from you know someone hacking my instagram so i know how it feels to lose your page that you worked hard on and i'm not sitting up here saying that you know the fellas should be out here reporting this page but i'm willing to bet there's a lot of fellas out here definitely i'm i'm willing to bet reported his page bro because here's the thing you you may be trying to preach to these women and trying to change your life and, and that's cool but it's so one-sided it's pandering if i'm going to try to uplift relationships i'm not going to just choose the male side I'm going to choose the women's side as well. And I'm going to choose both sides. So that way relationships can grow equally. It should never be a one-sided thing. I'm not all for men, you know, treating women with disrespect and expecting women to do everything for you. No, I'm not with that. And I'm not with women doing the same thing. I'm with us all coming together equally. That's what I'm all about. I'm not... I'm not for the simping. I'm not for the throwing money at someone you barely even know on both sides. I don't want women throwing money at guys they barely know because there are women that throw money at guys and be wondering why that guy doesn't really care or, you know, have the same feelings they should have for that person. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, this was cringe. This was mega, mega cringe, bro. Uh, it definitely... It definitely pained me to watch some of these clips. And there's uh, actually more clips on here that I did watch. It's just probably not going to be in this video because it was just, I I, I couldn't even, either, either one, I just didn't feel like, like putting this up there for you guys to even see or two. It was just, it was a whole bunch of nonsense. And I was like, let me just cut this. But the clips that you do see on here, they, for me, was definitely the most cringe so comment down below let me know if you guys agree with pastor poppy don on what he's saying or do you guys agree that he's pandering to women to gain that that woman fan base because i just feel like it's a whole bunch of pandering in my personal opinion but i appreciate all the love and support road to 50k appreciate y'all kicking with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace